Hello everyone and welcome to the Everyday Runner. Today I'm going to be giving you five training tips for runners. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we're actually going to be ditching the gimbal because it's just not working. <laughs> um, but anyways, that first tip that I mentioned was increase your mileage slowly. And so the general rule of thumb is to increase your mileage by about 10% per week. Um, and that's a good rule of thumb, but another twist that I like to add to it, and a lot of people do this as well, is to increase your mileage for three weeks and then decrease a week. So let's say you do 30, 33, 37. Then the fourth week, instead of doing 40, you would do 30 again, or 33. That way you're giving your body time to recover and absorb the training that you're putting into it. The biggest problem with increasing your mileage too quickly is that sometimes your body can't handle it and that's most often where injuries do come from. So make sure you're taking it easy on yourself and give yourself time to adjust. All right, and the second tip I have for you guys is to get good rest. What we all love doing as runners is going out there and crushing a workout, but something that we're not great at is going to bed early and making sure we're getting enough rest. So there's a saying that goes, it's not how hard you train, it's how well you recover. And I think there is a lot of truth to that because if you're not recovering properly, if you're not resting, sleeping, you're really not taking advantage of the stress that you're putting your body through and you're not actually getting the benefits from it because you're not recovering. You're not ready for the next session. So a big thing is turn the phone off early, say goodnight to the family, put the head to the pillow and get ready for the next day of training. So go to bed early, get good sleep. Third tip for you guys, third tip, and I really struggle with this one, is eat well, eat healthy and eat enough. So as runners, we're burning tons of calories. We're demanding a lot from our bodies. So it's really important that we give it the fuel it needs to be able to recover and prepare for the next training session. So that means, you know, vegetables, meat, whatever it is that you need. I'm not a nutritionist, but it could be a good idea to get in contact with one and get yourself on a good diet because you got to fuel that fire. And when you're asking a lot from your body, you got to give it a lot in return. And that's another big thing too, is it's not just what you're eating, it's the amount. So make sure that you're eating enough. I know most guys probably don't struggle with that, but make sure, you know, ladies and guys, you're eating enough and getting your body the fuel it needs. So eat well. Fourth tip I have for you guys is if you can, do definitely join a team or a club, or whatever it is that's around you, get involved with other runners. Whether it's a club team that goes to meets or just people that meet up on the weekend for a long run or whatever it is, get involved. I think we all know how much easier it is to do a 10, 20, whatever mile long run when you have five other people with you or even one other versus doing it yourself. It's a good way to stay motivated and it's a good way to get involved in the community. So join a team if you can. All right, guys, and my last, very last tip for you is set good goals. So I'm sure you may have heard before of SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, reasonable, and time sensitive. I think I got them. You wanna set goals that are realistic? You can set goals that are difficult, but make sure you have goals. Because I think we all know that through this pandemic, it's been really hard to stay motivated when there's no races, when there's no end goals in sight. Another good thing to do is set A goals, B goals, and C goals. And so by doing this, you know, you have your A goal, let's say it's running under three hours and 20 minutes in the marathon. Your B goal is to run 60 miles a week. And your C goal is to have the fastest tempo workout ever. And you can have a lot of C goals, maybe a few less beagles, but you can cross them off as you're training to feel a sense of progression. So definitely set some goals and do your best to achieve them. All right guys, so I paused the walk for the outro because I realize it's probably really bouncy, but we appreciate you guys watching. 
I really hope these tips are helpful. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer them. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for bearing with the audio and the bouncing. And from one everyday runner to another, we'll see you next time.